Parodan Lawrence here yet again talking about Pirate Metrics. Pirate Metrics is a framework for growing your business that's based on acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and revenue. That's right. Arr! In this episode, we'll be looking at the third of these, retention. There's an ugly truth about the app ecosystem. People tend to use only a very small portion of the apps that they have installed on a regular basis. A typical user tends to open a third of the apps they installed only once, and three quarters of their installed apps are rarely used. The goal for any application developer is to make their product a habit for their user. And building habits isn't easy. You need a precise plan for appropriate triggers that remind your user about the app. Over a period of time, a habit then develops in the user. The first step to solving the problem of retention is identifying at what point in a user's journey do they tend to drop off. For that, you can use cohorts inside Firebase Analytics. Cohorts help you visualize your retention by showing you what percentage of users you do retain over a period of time. It's broken down by days or weeks. A D1 retention means the percentage of users who use your application one day after using. D5 means five days later. D10 means 10 days later, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Most users tend to drop off in the first few days itself, which is largely an activation issue. This decline then flattens out. You want to start with a medium-term goal, such as increasing week one retention. Keep an eye on this metric over time as you experiment with different ways to boost it. Speaking of ways to boost retention, we mentioned triggers earlier. And for years, Google has provided one of the best such triggers. It's called cloud messaging. Cloud messaging is now a part of Firebase and has some new tricks up its sleeves. You can still do all the things from before. One great way for you to utilize cloud messaging to improve retention is send a push notification to users after say three or four days from when they installed. You could potentially share deals or tips or tricks or even extend trial periods, things that will get your users to come back again. We've also released notifications, which is built on top of cloud messaging. This allows you to send push notifications to your users straight from the Firebase console with no server-side programming required. You won't be able to send deals in an automated manner as we just discussed, but it works perfectly for those moments when your marketing team wants to send seasonal deals straight to your users. Plus, you can target specific audiences or users who have subscribed to certain topics to keep the notifications contextual. Ultimately, you don't want to bombard your users with notifications. That would just annoy them. It would cause a mutiny and maybe even encourage them to uninstall your app. Besides notifications, one of the cool things that you can do is track uninstalls right inside Firebase Analytics. Look for the automatic event App Remove. Go ahead and take it a step forward by creating an audience that you can then reach with AdWords as we discussed in a previous video. And finally, if you use app indexing in your app, Google search results on mobile would highlight content from your service. This encourages users to use your app since it's already installed instead of going to a competing service. So if your ship is draining users quickly, it might be about to sink. And all that effort and money that you've spent on acquiring users goes down with it. Plug this gap as soon as you can. Please check out the other videos in this Pirate Metric series. And please do subscribe to the Firebase channel. See you in the next video. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.